All right, this is my camera bag at the moment. This is what I'm rocking, and I really wanna to talk to you guys today about what's inside my camera bag. This right here is by Beverly, and this is the Runner, pine green color. I really like this color, it just stands out a little bit more. It does seem like more like a regular backpack than it does a photography bag. If you don't have a lot of stuff in there, you can also use the bottom notch, but I do have some things in here that doesn't close all the way. And that's not because of the backpack, it's just, you know, I'll show you that in just a second. Let's just talk about the backpack and the storage real quick before we move on. This backpack is super nice because it also has a luggage, what do you call that? Uh, where it can hold your backpack through the handle. I love this part right here, right there. I love that whenever I travel, I have a carry-on. With the backpack, I put it over the roller and it just, it just feels so much nicer to take it off my back. On this side, you have a lot of room. It's pretty wide right here. You put in a water bottle or you put in your tripod where this will hold the tripod in place. The strap is kind of nice. I've had more comfortable strap, but this one, this one works. It's not too bad. And then you also have a handle grip on top. There's a slot in the front where you can open this and then you have pouches in here where you put SD card. Here's my lens cloth. Always need a lens cloth, especially if you do like street photography. Matter of fact, any type of photography. And then where it is, there it is. My pixel bud. I still have this because there's sometimes I'd rather have this than my Sony headphones. And speaking of my Sony headphone, we're gonna move on inside in just a second. Just wanna show you one more slot. This right here is another slot on top. So you can lift that up, have more things in here. But right now, I like to keep my backpack to a minimum and I don't wanna pack this thing with everything. So I left that spot empty for now, just in case. I need something, then cool, I'll put it in there. It also has this pouch right here. This is a cable pouch, it's super nice. And it's also by Beverly. You can totally get it on the website. In here, I have a dust blower have to need that. I do have another one. Call me crazy, but I still use wired earphones. And then we have a dongle. Dongle is very important because I have more than just my SD card and you never know. And I don't want to be caught without one of those. So I do have a dongle with me at all times. The other thing I have in here is my Sony headphone. These are probably the best headphone I have ever used up to date. They just feel super comfortable and super light. The only thing is that it doesn't fold up, so that's why it took up so much room in the backpack. So up here, your only storage would be like half the backpack. Okay, I'm gonna close that up and we're gonna look at the inside. There's two ways of getting inside this. There's the traditional camera backpack way where you open the side and you get your camera. My camera on the side would be my Fuji X Pro 3. This camera has been so much fun to use, even though there's no monitor in the back. And if you guys have followed this channel, I've talked about this camera a lot. It's just so much fun because when you're just using a camera, you're more worried about the shot instead of what it looks like in the back. Just go out and enjoy photography. Every shot that you take, plan it, make sure it looks good. It's a great street photography camera. It reminds me of a film camera. You can open up that side from the front as well. Okay, I, I can grab this zipper. This is how I set it up. I think it works great. This was where my X-Pro3 was. It would sit right here. The microphone of choice, DD Wireless. This is super nice because I really enjoy using this. Sometimes when you're using like a shotgun mic and you're behind the camera, it doesn't hear your audio as well as if you were in front of the camera. With this being on there, it's always gonna hear my audio, especially the fact that I'm a one man crew. So I always gonna need to have good audio on me. GoPro. This is why I need that dongle. This GoPro, I bring around everywhere. It's super light and it doesn't really weigh anything. It'll be super good to have like action shot in the water, even just vlogging or walking around. This is a great camera to have with me at all times. I do have a secondary camera, Fuji X100V. Super, super popular camera. I got the black edition. I really love how stealth this look. I really enjoy this camera. I enjoy how light it is. It's, it's light, it's small, and it takes amazing photos. I love, I really love this camera. The lens is amazing, it's super sharp. That's always in my camera bag. The one thing that I do carry with me all the time on every trip is my laptop. This laptop right here is the MacBook Pro M1 Max. I love this laptop. It is so powerful. I haven't even found a reason to really upgrade the laptop at all. I've done all my video editing on there. I've done 4K editing and 
all these effects on there and it still works perfectly especially when I'm using Final Cut it works so well that I have no idea why I would even get rid of it these are the only thing that I keep in my backpack when I'm traveling because when I'm traveling I keep it light I already have a luggage, you know, a check-in, a carry-on, and I don't want my backpack to be weighing me down. This is my backpack, and these are my gear, and this is what's in my camera bag 2023 edition. Make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment below if you have any questions, and, and, I'll be making a lot of videos on these two cameras right here. I took it to Japan uh, last week or a couple weeks ago. I've used it so much. I've taken so many pictures and I really want to talk about it. Subscribe if you guys are into these two cameras. These two right here. So good. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Peace.